Good morning, traders. I greet you all. My name is Samuel Okoyocha, reaching you from the land of the rising sun. Today, I want to bring you what I do every week, every Saturday, the advanced method of Elliott Wave Analysis, whether it is forex, crypto, indices, stock, commodity, whatever. They are the same thing because they, they use the same charts. What you see in crypto, it works. You can see it's in forex. It also works in stock, whatever. So now, I also offer mentorship. If you want to learn, if you watch my video and you like the way I analyze. Meanwhile, what I show you here is just small. If you join my team as my students, I will teach you what I know so that when you see the market, you will be able to spot Create opportunities by yourself, not waiting for signal <clears throat> or for somebody else. <clears throat> so if you have the time, I will connect you instead of wasting your money, losing your account, burning your account. Just you pay me five hundred dollars only, and you will be good to go. I won't rush you into learning everything in one month or in six months because I know some people can learn very fast, some can learn very slowly, some don't have much time to study. So even if it is two years. No problem, I will give you the time to learn. Okay, so this number is on WhatsApp, it's on Telegram. This is my Telegram handle. Uh, then also like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Join my Telegram channels. I have two, two Telegram channels, they are free. Only one is for the premium, that is the, the students and the VIP channel. So let's dive into the business. <clears throat> DXY, as I started with DXY all the time, remember my bias remains the same. My bias has not changed. We are going down. This is like with A, then B with C. So we are still going down. I have not seen any reason we will not go down. So whatever is happens here, though this uh this uh this may not leave look so impulsive. But to me, that is the beginning of web one. I call it slow start. So you may be thinking that web three will do something like this before it will become a web one. It can start like this as a low start. Then before you know it, you see a big move. So to me, this is web one, this is web two. So I'm expecting a big move down. Okay, so I don't have much to show you on this because nothing has changed really. Only, only, only that my it has been confirmed that this is with A, A, B, C. So, unless market turns, I'm going to go up again. Then if it goes above above this zone, this one up 0.9, then I'll change my But for now, I, I, I need to go down. That's for DXY. USD card, the same thing. Uh, let me show you daily on USD card, but I think it's worth of time because I've shown you this daily for more than three weeks or so. So now, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a new low, <clears throat> something below 1.318, or even below 1.309. So the question is, when are we confirming the, the sell? It's like wasting time to sell, but for me, it has, it has confirmed sell on lower time frame. But the real confirmation is here. Four hours confirmation is better than one hour confirmation. So now, because why? It may make an, another high. It can do, do something like this. You, you never can tell. Something like A, B, C, and go up again before going down. But if it if it comes and break this zone, I don't think it will it will just go up again. It can happen, but maybe nine one percent possibility. If it cross this zone, it will go up again and make a new high. So that's have that in mind. Uh, USD chef, USD chef have been a complex somehow, somehow complex. So that is why I always show you. Conversion level. Last week, this uh, conversion zone was here, and it never confirmed. 
So you will hardly make a loss if you follow me diligently. Now, I have shifted it to here. Because why? It made a new high here. Now, on our time frame, the selling has confirmed. But you, you need experience to follow it for lower time frame. So to be, to be safe, allow me to break this zone. So that's all I can tell you on USD chef. Mm -hmm. You know, USD, uh, nothing has changed. Last week I told you that this is web one. Now, the only thing is that I expect it to give me this drop. I mean, to make the structure perfect, but as long as it had gotten, uh, as long as it had gotten lower to lower than with air, this will be let me level it. This 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 is what I'm looking at A B C. So as long as it has come lower to with A, this will be can be here, but I think it will come back to be here. So unless it goes above this zone, if it doesn't go above one point zero eight eight six. It may come back to this zone before it will buy. So I'm waiting for buy either here or above here. That's for your USD. Pants USD, I have problem and on pants you pass USD have keep making some kind of uh uh complex move. So first of all, I expect it to come to this zone before it will sell. It didn't come to this zone, it's going down. Now, I will like to buy if I see it in this zone. I like to buy, else I will wait. Let it break at least this top, 1.277, before I would think about buying. But if I see it down this place, that 1.24, 1.233, then I look for buy from here because that is what it makes sense for me. In the sense that uh, I will now count it as uh, W, X, Y. But for now, uh, I just watching it. AUD USD, I'll show you daily chart once more. To refresh your memory. So daily charts, to me, this is WXY and it's the perfect uh, wave count. So whatever happened here is wave one, bigger wave one. So I'm, I'm looking for the move up. So the question now is, okay, let me go down to four hours. The question now is, will it still go down or have uh, or is it confirmed you watch this is WXY and it, it touched the 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 reversal zone. It's now going up, so it's not left for you to look for five step top. To me, I, I I don't think it's gonna go down again. I don't think if, if you can't find five step top around here, then you can buy above here. That's what I can do for you. So if you can find if you can find by set up down here a one hour. This is a one hour chart. If you can if you can buy by set up around here, then above here you can now buy. Okay, so let's go to New Zealand USD. New Zealand USD is somewhat uh difficult. In the sense that uh, the possibility of it making this bigger A, B, C is here. Then I said this last week or last two weeks. Then uh, another possibility is that this is the A, B, C. I have seen this type of move. And if you and if you if you're waiting for it to complete, it will just abandon it and begin to go. So now, because of the AUD USD user correlation, either this if this will happen, then AUD USD will delay. It will be going sideways. Why this one will be going like this? Because both of both will always go up at the same time. So it's called for caution. What, what I mean by that 
is if you are buying a using the USD, your stop loss should be here. Somewhere here. That is below this swing low. Because why? You can buy it, it can do something like this and drop again and drop again. So my advice to you to avoid all this stress, to avoid all this stress, wait for it and buy it above this place. Unless you have the capacity, the, the, the knowledge to spot by setup around here, probably on one hour. So that your stop loss will be here. This should be a stop loss if you are buying. So that if you are losing, you don't lose much. But you must know what you are doing in validation. Or oh, let me see a minor. This is a minor invalidation. So if you can spot, if you cannot spot uh buy setup around here, allow it to at least go above this place or this place. So or you leave it alone, you may go with AUD USD or you or you know USD, the one that is clear in structure. JP225 for us. It's still going up. After the after this correction, it went up again. Okay. So um as I, I, I said it before, there is a good time to buy any any pair. I said if you miss it here and miss it here again, buying it here may not be a good idea. I said it. But even if you bought here, you have made some profit. But the, the, the question is, are you will you know when it will turn? Why, why am I saying this? Is that I don't want you to lose. It's better to lose to uh, to miss trade than, than lose. So to me, I would like to buy when I see a bigger correction. All this correction, all these ones are minor correction. These are minor correction. These are minor correction. This is a good correction because it takes time to complete. This is the big correction because it, it takes time to, to complete. So I, I I don't like to buy something. When it is a minor correction, unless I'm sure it is with two of a beginning trend. I don't know how to spin again. This is class spot analysis. So let's move. UJPY. UJPY, you know, I, I'm looking for a big move down. But uh, the big move may not happen yet. I think. One hour, we can press on one hour. So based on one hour, I said after this break, look for this. But this big move, we may not get, get it now. Unless I confirm that this, okay, now let me show you what I mean. This is wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, wave five, which is a bigger wave one. Then if I get this, like, look at this A, B, sorry. This is one, two, three, four, five, with A. If I get this A, B, C, with B, and a, with C, and it didn't go above this zone, then I will look for this cell. It will turn out to be the beginning of this big drop I show you here. Or else, it may be A, B, C, for a move up again. In any case, secondly, we may get this uh, this A, B, C. We're not getting this uh, internal A, B, C. So that is for, I want to explain it to you so that you can, you will, you will be able to understand what is happening on Yen Pace. So Yen Pace, we like to take people by surprise. So uh, as I was saying, uh, wait for 